If you have a heat pump and TRVs or you're zoning any part of your heating system, you're definitely going to want to watch this video because everything we know about zoning and everything you've been told by companies like Tadu about zoning could be very wrong in your circumstances, especially if you're a heat pump customer. This could apply to all heating systems though, not just heat pumps, but specifically heat pumps are gonna be the most affected by TRV zoning, like these ones from Tadu, or if you've got a valve in your house that separates your top floor and your bottom floor by zoning system. Now, Octopus do fit zoning valves on Cozy 6s. If you're thinking about getting a Cozy 6, Cozy 12, or any heat pump from Octopus Energy, you can go to evnick.com forward slash energy. There's not only code there to split £100 when you sign up to be an Octopus customer, but if you're already an Octopus customer, or even if you're not and you're thinking of getting a heat pump, you can go there and use my unique code to split £200 off an install, giving us £100 each. But this video is going to be specifically about zoning your heating system, especially with a heat pump. Let's first talk about zoning and what TRVs is. First of all, TRVs, thermostatic radio valves so all they do is they have the thermostat inside and they open and shut the radiator turn the basic the radio on and off depending on what the temperature of the room is trvs here from tadu are smart so they can be set to, to not only just turn off at temperatures you can adjust the temperature all throughout the day and have the radiator just turn off during certain days late giving total control of a room not only by temperature but also by time of the day now another way of zoning is using a valve that turns off and on. This is normally controlled by a boiler or your thermostats, um, your programmable thermostats. And they're just a valve that turns off and on depending if you told them to open or close. Now what most people tend to do in new build houses is separate the top floor and bottom floor by zoning. So the top floor can stay on and the bottom floor can stay off or vice versa. This form of zoning basically just shuts all the radiators off on a given floor. Now heat pumps work best when they're heating the fabric of your building. Now what I mean by that is your walls, your floors, your ceilings, your furniture, everything inside your house is part of the fabric of the building. Low temperature heating works by keeping this fabric temperature within about three to four degrees of your entire set temperature. So your set temperature of 20 degrees, your, your lowest you let it drop, it's about four degrees less than that. Basically means your house doesn't have to try very hard at high temperatures to try and get to those temperatures. It can just steadily warm the house up very slowly. And basically that slow temperature means as your house is losing heat, you're keeping that heat maintained at a low temperature, which means better efficiency in your heating system. So like this even applies to boilers, but heat pumps do typically tend to run at colder temperatures and those colder temperatures take a long, longer to heat up the home. So rather than saying to the heat pump, hey look, the house is 10 degrees, I want 20 degrees, and the heat pump forcing itself to full max power to try and get to that temperature as quick as possible, we just say to the heat pump, hey look, just run at 40 C you know, 45 C, bring the temperature up slowly back to, back to 20, and it will do that very gradually, and that improves the COP. The, the COP is the efficiency, the efficiency curve, and how cheap your boiler is to run. But the question is, if we're doing the whole fabric of the room, we're heating the whole fabric, how do we stop rooms from getting too warm or too cold? So one method is zoning, using that valve to turn off and on certain floors, certain parts of your house. Now, in essence, most people watching this will not need zoning. If you live in a square house, or, uh, you know, or basically a house where there's rooms below and rooms above, and you, you know, you own both those controlled heated rooms up and below, then you don't need zoning. Zoning really is only going to apply if you have an L-shaped home, so basically wings of your home, large parts, or if you have a part of your home that's a newer built extension, for example. So a really high levels of insulation built to new building standards and the rest of the house is maybe built in the 1800s and the new part of the house that's built recently within 10 years with very modern insulation. You might want to zone the new and the old section of the house because one's going to have a higher heat loss than the other and the other one's going to have less heat loss. That's the only time really going to need zoning but some installers will copy the zoning system that you already have when fitting a heat pump it might be worth asking them not to if you know that the specifics you know you've got a square home very you know normal size normal home you probably don't need zoning and i'm going to explain why really before I did that, before the, I said this section, but there's other ways of controlling those floors so they don't overheat and get too warm or too cold. You could use TRVs, the, the, these thermostatic radio valves in each room. Now we're gonna to get to 
why there's actually a better option before we get this because if your system was designed correctly the radiators for those rooms should be designed correctly which means that bedrooms are designed for 18c and your living area is 21c bathrooms are 22 or 23c from memory so basically each room's radiator size is already pre-calculated that it won't go basically above that temperature when it's minus two outside so basically the main control stat room will be set at 18 that radiator size will be set to 18 when that hits 18 the rest of the room because of their radiator size should hit the temperature that they were designed for now you should if you're getting heat pump of octopus have the schedule of sizes of radiators and the design temperature for each room take a look through that make sure that you're happy with the temperatures of those rooms some people like a warmer bedroom some people don't like an 18c some people want a 20c and we'll get to get and how to deal with if the radiators are already oversized in those rooms how to control that without a trv but if you're thinking of getting a heat pump from octopus don't forget to go to evnick.com forward slash energy and there's a link there to split 200 pound with me when you get a heat pump installed and it counts for existing customers who've any uh, octopus energy already as well another way is instead of using the trv on the up one side of the radiator on the opposite side you have something called a lock shield now the lock shield should be balanced when you have a heat system fitted most people fitting boilers do not balance systems heat pump engineers some do some don't but ideally your system should be balanced when you have a heat pump installed this basically means that there's the correct temperature drop over the entire radiator but if that room is getting massively too warm because the radiator was massively oversized then you might want to turn down that lock shield so it closes that flow a little bit more so if it's always overheating in the room slightly turn the lock shield a little bit to reduce the flow of water passing through it which means it's going to get less heat going through it which means that heat will get pushed around to the rest of the house not into that radiator and the heat pump can work by heating the fabric of the building rather than you shutting down that radiator when it might still need the heat being pushed through it to keep the system balanced and the home nice and cozy so if you've done all that then your next step is to use the trv so if you've got a normal trv so the trv is that anyone has with numbers on five four three two one and then a, maybe a little uh, ice symbol basically an antifrost system then my advice is turn it down from five to four and a half or maybe just because they're not digital they're analog that the, the, those ones so just basically turn it slightly so maybe even not four and a half maybe just below five and just keep creeping it down week after week until it hits your desired amount i wouldn't say go below sort of two or three but basically edge it down slowly rather than uh, that rather than a massive gradual turn off edge it down slowly that's the best way to do it now the tadu systems these are basically set by temperature so the first thing i do on your tadu system is if you've got these is turn off the auto away feature immediately because when you go away the heat pump needs to continue to run and you don't want your radiators being all turned off by the tadu system so turn auto away off now turn off auto shut off when the window opens again it, these things can be really sensitive to a bit of draft coming in or a bit of cold air hitting them or just opening a cold room to a, a warm room and sometimes they think that's windows even when i've had a shower um it, sometimes they set off because they think i've opened a window even though i haven't so shut off all the auto features if you've got them and you pay the subscription shut them off you don't need them the other thing you could do the only reason I, really i can see using a trv uh, smart trv anymore if you've got a heat pump is you might like to wake up to a 20 c celsius room because you want to be coached out of bed on a cold in a cold morning so you might want 20 c in the morning but when you go to sleep you might want 18 c so you could with these set uh, 20 c in the morning 18c at night now i'd my advice is go one degree above what you actually uh, actually want so 19c and 20c and just allows the system to have a little bit of flexibility keeping the house warm with the rads and the heat pump system the only thing i still use these for is just room temperature sensing i don't actually have them control any part of my radiators all my radiators are set to max and they the room only rarely overheats by about one or two c over what i've desiredly set for it so when seeing the main firm start set for 20 this room here now my office it was designed for 20 occasionally it hits 21 occasionally the bedrooms hit 21 but i like a 20 degree bedroom going to bed and that's basically it my lounge occasionally hit 22 my lounge was designed for 21 
so it doesn't really need it in my home but if you want to use these just be careful because it can ruin the coefficient of your heat pump just like to say by the way a huge thank you to my members and patrons for helping me make videos about this the cozy six and all the other videos on my channel without your support and basically it's just been amazing this year i've had more people sign up than ever now if you want to become a patron or member you get early access to videos depending on what level you're on and all levels get access to have a quick chat with me or message me about any questions they might have about heat pumps cozy sixes octopus towers or anything uh, they want to have a chat about there's a link down below to sign up for Patreon and membership if you're interested, or if you just want to help support my channel, if you use my Octopus link to sign up to Octopus Energy, that helps me a great deal. I get £50 every time you click that link, and so do you. Or if you're getting heat pump installed, we split £200 to £100. That, again, massively helps me. If you want to do both, uh, or you want to do all three things, that would be a fantastic help. But there's no pressure. I carry on making videos, and they'll be released for free. It, but just members and patrons will get slightly early access. If you want to learn more about my Cozy 6 heat pump install, see this video here. And if you want to see playlists about heat pumps, see this video right here.